Hey everybody, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. How you guys doing? I want to thank all of you for the very well wishes and prayers for my husband who underwent um, double hernia surgery yesterday. Everything went just fine and he is uh, resting quite uncomfortably and is cranky. So, it's all good. <laughs> One of you is a nurse and said adults make the worst patients. I think husbands make the worst patients, but, excuse me, he's doing just fine. So, um, and you know, and today they, um, they use super glue or something and glue the wound together. So there's no wound care at all, which is awesome because, you know, that's <laughs> kind of gross. <laughs> anyway, but I just want to thank you all again. Uh, everything went just fine. He was in and out in a flash, so... Um, I wanted to make this video today to talk about the different types of cutting machines. In my last video, I had told you that I was going to do a uh, make a mug rug um, using the Brother Scan and Cut. That's the cutting machine that I have. I thought I had made this video a while ago, but I looked through my I looked through them and I couldn't find it, so I don't know what I did with it. But um, I used to have the Cameo Silhouette. Or is it Silhouette Cameo? I'm not sure. I think it's Cameo Silhouette. Um, I actually bought that and it sat in a box for a couple years <laughs> before I realized that I had it. And Because uh, I didn't open it up. I, I got it and it sat in the game room and we went somewhere and I just, I don't know, I don't remember why I didn't open it. But then I was at the coast one day and I was scrolling through some YouTube videos uh, trying to figure out how to do embroidery. Um, using uh, cut files, the SVG cut files, and I came across, uh, I think, one of the uh, representatives for Brother Scan and Cut is a lady by the name of Julie Fafan Balzer, and so I watched a lot of her videos, and I thought, oh, I've got one of those machines. Well, I got home, opened the box, and no, it was the silhouette. It was not the scan and cut. If So some of you may have a Cricut already. Um, some of you have the scan and cut, and if you have a silhouette, I actually ended up selling my silhouette on Craigslist. The learning curve on that machine was just too much for me, and um, I didn't care for it. And I think a lot of it has to do with your medium. And by medium, I mean, are you using, are you a paper crafter? Are you a vinyl crafter? Or are you a fabric crafter? And it makes a big difference um, in them, mostly because of how the patterns come for fabrics uh, to how the patterns come for fabrics for applique. So, I just had to itch my nose. I didn't want y'all to see it. <laughs> so I put y'all paused. So anyway, um, if, if you predominantly use fabric and you like to do applique, and this is a sewing vlog, so I would assume most of y'all are into stitching things as opposed to just cutting and paper crafting or vinyl crafting. All, most of the patterns for, like, like this, Quilt Diva, look at that. Look how intricate that is. Okay. And these come with, I don't know if you can see through the paper, these come with, these type of patterns come with printed uh, designs that are designed for you to um, put up against a window and trace or, um, you know, some way or another, trace it over a light box of some sort and then iron it to the back of some fabric with heat and bond on it or something to that effect and then cut them out on your traced lines, okay? The, the patterns generally for paper crafting and vinyl crafting are not like that. Most of the things that you buy for those 
when you download those patterns from the site, and I'm speaking from what I think, I am not 100% sure on this because I'm not a paper crafter or a vinyl crafter, but usually those designs, you download them and they come in the format already and then you can just import that digital file into the, uh, the, the machine, the Cricut or the Silhouette or even the Scan and Cut and then you just find it on the screen and print it out and you're good to go. When you're when you buy patterns like um, so this is uh, I love this this is Ocean Friends see this okay when you buy patterns like this in a quilt store that are designed for fabric they come with two different um, that's not it so like here's the conch or here's the clam so you get this, okay, which is the final, and then you get this on the other side or somewhere else in the pattern that has dotted lines and that shows you that that is overlapped in some way, okay? Some things will come with an embroidery files. Let me get one, just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I meant to have all my stuff together before I started this video. Some, some things that you get, for instance, Kimberbell. Okay, these Kimberbell, these are, um, these are embroidery files. And they will have a little circle on them right here. And it says bonus includes SVG files for personal electronic cutting machines. Okay, SVG is scalable vector graphic. Don't worry about that technical term. Just put it in your head that SVG goes with a cutting file. Okay, so all of the cutting machines use SVG files. So if you buy one of these Kimberbell things, anything you buy that says that it has SVG files, there's your digital thing that you need right there to be able to put into the cutting machine and have it cut out whatever it is, whether it's fabric or vinyl or paper or whatever, it doesn't matter. But when you go into a quilt store and you buy, sorry I've made a lot of copies and papers and stuff with this, and you buy something like this that only comes with a paper pattern. There is no SVG file with it. And you have to make that. Now, with the Silhouette, and I understand the same as with the Cricut, you have to print out a file that has a lot of little black dots all over it, okay? And then take a picture of that you print it out and set it down on a table or a background or whatever. Take a picture of that with your phone. Y'all, that's hard. I'm sorry. I don't mean to bump the table with the camera on it. That's hard. I had such a hard time with that with the silhouette that I got rid of it. And I went with the Brother Scan and Cut because of the scanning feature of the machine. So on the Brother Scan and Cut, I can take one of these. Normally what I do, for instance here, look at this one. Here is, this is the eel. Do you see how some of the lines are darker black than the other ones? Okay. That's because... I made a copy. I made a copy so as not to ruin the original pattern of the eel pattern that had the dashed lines on it. So, and when it came out, when the copy came out, then I took a sharpie and I made the dashed lines solid. Okay? You make the dash line solid, and then you just slip this into the scanning mat for the Brother Scan and Cut, and run it through the machine, and the Scan and Cut will make the SVG file. 
and you can either upload that file into the Brother Canvas Cloud and work with it there, or you can work with it right on the screen in the machine. There is no need to calibrate something or other and try to make an, an electronic SVG file where there was none before. So if you predominantly work with paper or you work with vinyl, then the Cricut and the Silhouette are fine because those SVG files are already created unless you're digitizing them yourself with the method I told you about with calibrating your phone and taking a picture and then emailing it somewhere or whatever. I don't know. It's way too much work for me. The Scan and Cut's more expensive. You can get a Cricut in Hobby Lobby or wherever for less than, what? what is it, 200 maybe $250, maybe 300 for the high end. Um, the Scan and Cut is more expensive, but it has a feature that those other two do not. It allows you to create a digital file, SVG file, where there wasn't one before, just by simply printing it out and putting it into the scanning mat and creating and scanning it in, and it makes the SVG file for you. So. Because I have used the Silhouette also, and I've used the Scan and Cut, there's no way I would go back to using a Silhouette just because, or even the Cricut, just because they don't have a scanning feature. If they ever came out with that, that'd be great. Um, so, oh, also, I got an email today from Brother that HSN, Home Shopping Network, has Brother stuff coming on TV tonight at 11 o'clock p.m. Ooh, was that central? I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Um, but you can go out to hsn.com right now and take a look and see all their brother stuff that they're going to be selling tonight. They actually are selling it online right now. Or if you have the HSN app on your phone, I did see that 650 wireless for about $315. And I think they only had 14 of them left. That was a couple hours ago. Y'all need to go get one if you want one. Um, so anyway, that's my take on cutting machines and the differences between them. You have to decide based on what medium, paper, vinyl, or fabric you want to use. If most of your stuff comes already with a digital SVG files on it, well then you don't need the scan and cut. You know, you can just import the SVG files. You would have to take this one of these CDs and put it in a laptop or some other CD reader or DVD reader of some sort and be able to transfer those files by USB stick or by cable from your laptop or desktop into your cutting machine. I keep looking over here because my scan and cut sitting right there. Um, so that's what I wanted to let you guys know about the differences in cutting machines. Um, for those of you that have gone out and gotten the, the Brother Scan and Cut, I want to let you know too, I learned how to use this machine not only from the videos that Julie Fayfan Balzer or any other people out on YouTube have done. There is a website called Alanda Craft. It's A-L-A-N-D-A -A -A Craft on, um, on, on the internet. It's not on YouTube, okay? Well, maybe they have a couple videos on YouTube. Um, that's these two ladies out of Australia. And I paid $40 for, um, it's a lot like Craftsy used to be where you would buy a class. Um, I paid $40 for the full end-to-end -end lessons on the Brother Scan and Cut. You can either read it online like a, like a reading document and it's fully, it's got pictures, or you can go um, and watch their videos and their videos are no more than three to five minutes long they explain every single thing about the mat about how to take care of uh, your machine the different types of cutting blades they talk about how to create those uh, quilt square pieces with the quarter inch seam allowance already in them they talk about everything in very simplistic terms and that's how I learned about it and I still refer to that website quite often 
Alanda Craft is what it's called. And um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful source to learn how to use the Brother Scan and Cut if you have purchased one. So um, they have some other things on there too that I really wasn't interested in, but the Brother Scan and Cut was it for me. So I paid for the class and it has been worth every single penny. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to give you my two cents worth about these cutting machines that are out there if you were interested in getting one. So um, I will talk to you guys soon. I'll probably do another one tomorrow or the next day for um, making our little mug rug. But I just wanted to let you guys know my opinion. Okay, we'll talk to you all later. Thank you again for all the well wishes. Bye.